Welcome to the workshop guys. Does your car pull while you're driving? Let me show you how we sort that. Okay guys, we're gonna take a look at wheel alignment. All you'll need to be able to do this at home is just some timber dowel rods, these are two meters long, a steel rule, some string, and some axle stands. And with these items, you can get the same accuracy as I use for my race car. Okay, we start by putting a mark on the dowel rods. In this case, I put it at 250 millimeters in from the end. I used my reciprocating saw here to put a nick in both dowel rods. You could use a hacksaw, it'll be fine. Using my ruler, I lined up both marks and then used the cable tie to pinch the rods tightly together. Take off my clamp and move to the far end of the rods. Once I have the rods clamped here, I can get out my measuring tape and I can make another mark at 250 millimeters in from the end. Once I have this mark, I can get out my reciprocating saw again and like the other end, I can put a nick evenly across both rods. You need to make sure that these are even and square both ends. Once you have this done, get your dowel rods in place on your axle stands at the front of the car and then of course at the back of the car. The next thing you need to do is cut two lengths of string that are slightly longer than the distance between the two dowel rods and put a weight on them. In this case, of course, it's a mini workshop, so bits of mini gearboxes work perfectly fine as the weight. Once your strings are taut across your dowel rods, you need to start taking some measurements. You are aiming to get the strings equidistant across the front wheels and the back wheels. The best way to do this is take a measurement one side, go to the other side, take a measurement and move the dowel rods until the measurement is the same both sides. Go to the back of the vehicle and you need to do the same, moving from front to back. Okay, now that we have our strings parallel on the car, we can start taking some tracking measurements. The first measurement we want to take is from the back of the rim to the string, and in this case, it's 50 millimeters. The next measurement we take is from the front of the rim to the string, and that's 49 millimeters. We subtract one from the other, and we get one millimeter difference, and we know because this measurement is smaller than this measurement, the wheel is towed out one millimeter. Ideally for a road car, we would actually like the wheel to be parallel or one millimeter towed in. That will give you straight through tracking and make the car handle well. Now we know the adjustments we need to make, we need to access the track rod end to do that. Let's jack up the car, put in an axle stand in a nice secure spot, Lower the car on the axle stand, and of course, remove your jack. Remember, safety first when working on jacked up cars. Now, let's take off the wheel and get nice, clear access to our track rod end. Now that we have the wheel off, we can reveal this track rod end, which is what we need to adjust in order to affect our toe angle. If we make this track rod end longer, it gives our wheel toe in. If we make this track rod end shorter, it gives our wheel toe out. We know from our measurements earlier on from the string that our wheel is towed out one millimeter. We need our wheel for good driving be towed in one millimeter. I know that this track rod end has a tread pitch of 1.25 millimeters. Therefore, one full rotation of the track rod end will give us an adjustment of 1.25 millimeters. We need two millimeters. So if we do the maths, one and three quarters turn will give us just over two millimeters of adjustment. We need it to go from towed out to towed in, so we need to make the track rod end longer by one and three quarters turn. So let's do that. First thing we need to do is make a mark to see where we start. So let's make a mark here, loosen our nut, 
there locking nut. We'll back that off and we'll put a mark on that. Now we can rotate our track rod end to make this longer by one turn first of all. And then we'll go for our three quarters of a turn. Bring our mark arrives up. Okay, we've about three quarters, one and three quarters turn there. Spin back down your locking nut. Snug it up and go take your measurements again. We have the wheel back on the car. We have our strings set back up again and parallel. So let's take our measurements and see if our adjustments worked out. So we have 50 millimeters here. And we've 51 and a quarter millimeters here. So that is well within the tolerance of what I would be happy with for a road car. That's given us our one millimeters of toe in and the car is now adjusted and will drive much, much better. And that's it guys, a quick look at wheel alignment. This is the first in a new series of videos that we're gonna to bring to the channel of how to's that will hopefully help you to carry out some basic maintenance on your own vehicle at home. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe. If you'd like me to make a more in-depth, detailed video on wheel alignment, let me know in the comments below and we'll make that video for you in the future. That's it for now. Catch you on the next one.